uh, FaceTime the family right now. When we were at the mall, Connor started misbehaving. Really? What did he do wrong? He was just looking at everything, and he, and when we were walking, he didn't walk. Were you being good, Hunter? Yeah. Yeah. I got first. I got it first. All right, no talking. Yeah, I agree. How about no talking? This is a this is a really awesome conversation here. It really is. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, you better say bye. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye. bye. I love you. I feel like I am home. You need to hear the boys cry and fight. Yeah, it's pretty much home. Headed back to the gym. Just gonna get in another grinding session and be done, go home. Well, that was actually pretty goddamn stupid of me. What? I didn't bring you clothes. I didn't bring you clothes to work out of it. I'm gonna steal somebody's clothes. What I'm gonna do. That's fucking disgusting. It's been there for a couple days. This will work. It's clean. I'll make it work. Yeah, stay tight, tight, tight. We're fighting a world champ, so if he goes out and does everything Matt's capable of doing, we, we can beat Johnny Hendricks. If it's a long, drawn out war, prepare for that. If it's uh, Matt goes out there and scalps him quick, great, but Matt will be victorious in this fight. Anybody can come in when they feel good, right? That's right. Champions are the ones that come in when they don't feel good and still get it done. Take them off. Oh, not the play, not this one. Okay. My father-in-law, he's been opening up restaurants and running restaurants for about 25 years. I was like, I've always wanted to open up a restaurant. I don't know what to do, and that's your forte, so we ended up opening this. <laughs> Whenever you come here, I know what kind of meat I'm getting. I know what vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So actually owning a steakhouse has been sort of a blessing because if I want to go out and eat, I can come here and eat. You know what I mean? I don't have to go anywhere else. I did not understand a word you just said. No, thank you, baby. Hometown fight is always, you know what I mean? Like, it's a little bit better. You know what I mean? I actually enjoy it a lot more. I don't have to worry about traveling. I get to stay home. That has been nice. Show us how you're gonna fight. Nice. <laughs> Give a kick. Do a kick. Do a, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm usually gone. I mean, I'm I'm wherever I'm at. So, being at home has been, it's been a huge blessing. This fight, yeah, it's tiring, huh? You don't get it. <laughs> oh, that's weak. That's weak. Oops. Oh, they're taking over. <laughs> Let's go, Munchkin. See ya. Thank you again. Great steak as always. I didn't start packing that. I'm just getting everything organized, what I'm bringing in. What's coming with, so. I like doing it last minute. Makes me like keep my mind off the fight. The rock tees, the shacks. I don't have any like superstitions, bro. No. I perform, I fight whatever I have to. Nothing has to be there, nothing has to be a certain way. Well, actually, I lie, I bring the belt. I bring the belt everywhere, I, I, all my fights. Sir, I got that bag. What are you bringing? I'm just bringing shin pads and then Shin pads, gloves. gloves. Mine's over here. You're bringing headgear? Shin then? glove, no. Shin glove and uh, MMA gloves. That's what I'm doing, too. What is up, my brother? What's up, Mr. Man? What are we eating? We're eating pan-seared Arctic char with a purple sweet potato mash with a little bit of truffle oil, some roasted asparagus, and a blood orange grapefruit and ginger dressing just to go on top. I don't know what all that is, but it sounds good. <laughs> You know, when you're cutting weight, the, as long as you can have food that are going to satisfy your palate, I think that's like one of the most important things. So, you got to make sure that you get light foods in your diet for sure. Purple sweet potatoes, what? Can't wait to eat a big ass steak. 
You crave it? Hmm? You crave it? Not even for like something specific, just have that full ass stomach. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for that. My stomach's gonna fucking explode. I bet you do it though. Well, I'm gonna do it for sure. After the Guido fight mm -hmm. was my first fight with him. So he just makes the weight cut easy, man. I mean, he knows what he's doing. You bring him in for a couple weeks, you gotta deal with him for a couple weeks, but uh, <laughs> food tastes good, <laughs> presentation's good, and he's a man, man. He knows what he's doing. I'll take one more to the dome and I'm done. My family is so important for me, so when I leave them, it's kind of hard. Cuide de mim, cuide da minha família, família do Gordo, família do Rafael Cordeiro, do Furão, de todo mundo, Pai Guarde, em nome de Jesus, amém. Amém. <laughs> I cannot get the top without them, you know. I think that they are my base, you know. Without them, the build is fall. Sem chá você vai estar lá na luta, tá? Fica bonzinho sua mãe, tá? Anthony Pettis is a great opponent, but I think it just his I think his time is up. It's time to have a new champion. The belt has a date to be mine. It will be on March 14th.